one of the comments I receive on this YouTube channel from people who are only watching the Seatbelt Psychic videos are that Thomas John is not taking money for his readings and he hasn't harmed anybody at all. Now, I know that Seatbelt Psychic is a TV show. A lot of people don't realize that. I, I'm not quite sure why they don't get it or why they don't understand that if he's a medium, like some world famous medium, wouldn't he be doing readings for people? For some reason, they're, that, they haven't grasped that. I, I don't know. They're just watching one or two Seatbelt Psychic videos and they have bought into it. So I have pointed this out multiple times um, in other videos on my channel. Just check out the playlist about Thomas John and what's going on with him. He has uh, two Facebook groups. Now, these are not groups opened by myself or anybody on my team. I just happen to be a member of them and I read the posts and I post there as well as other people who post. And, uh, and uh, these are groups that are trying, these are Facebook groups, mostly to get their money back from him. And it's probably 90% women, maybe more. And they are constantly making posts about what do I do? I just found out about this. My credit card company won't give me my money back. I can't get a reading from him. I paid a year or more ago and I cannot get a reading because it's constantly rescheduled. And the excuses start out you know, plausible, but then after a while, it just gets ridiculous. This is the kind of thing I hear all the time. So let's take a look. I screenshot a few. Um, I might've gotten a little happy and did a lot more than just a few. So I'll just kind of sum them up so we can go through these pretty quickly. For the most part, these are from different people. I think there's one here that's got like four, four messages from the same person. And she was trying to show how she keeps writing to him. These women are polite. They are concerned about Thomas John, you know, oh, he's sick. Oh, I hope he's okay kind of stuff. And, you know, a lot of them are signed off with blessings, which is interesting. Sometimes you'll notice that there is a all sales final. Let me come back and I'll talk about this in a second. Let's, let's go start looking at some of these. Okay, so here's, and I've blocked out their names. These are all public posts. So I, I mean, I just don't want these people bugged. It, it's, I know who they are. They posted freely. They'd probably be okay with me posting these, but let's just, I'm just going to take the names out. Thomas John knows who these are, but there's so many. I don't know how he would be able to sort through them, but um, here is a, a message to somebody from Thomas John's staff, which is his sister usually, or it used to be his assistant. I think they've hired a new assistant named Brandon, who seems pretty overwhelmed. I don't know if he's still there. It's been a month. Um, this one is saying, we're unable to do your reading. He's had many losses over the last eight weeks. And consequently, he's postponing many readings to January. He knows he's disappointing you. Um, here's his new date. Uh, this one says, I'm sorry to inform you. He's decided to reschedule many of his private readings until the fall. This one, um, he's he gives you free events that he does, the mass gallery events. He'll give you free um, a date to that, like $20 is what those are usually done for. And you don't get a reading. I mean, there's 300 people there, maybe 10 people get a reading over two hours. So he'll give you a free online event. Um, and he'll tell people, you know, pay attention what everybody else is hearing, because maybe it's your person also trying to come through, through their reading, which is a bunch of hoo-ha. It's been an extremely stressful year for Thomas. Yeah, I bet. 2021 it's a stressful year for thomas i mean what he's had his show in vegas canceled he had operation onion ring he was busted in all kinds of stuff you know can't get another tv show here's a copy of my receipt she's sending this to thomas john i never received an email from thomas and i've checked my spam folder and nothing was there can you tell me what's going on i'd i'd appreciate it very much blessings this one is from Thomas John's staff. Thomas got behind. Uh-huh. 
if you'd like to rescind it, uh, you know, I'll let Thomas know. I mean, it's just a bunch of nonsense. They're back and forth. These people are inept. All cells are final. And that's what one of the things that happens is these all cells are final information. Now, this is not my words. These are the words of other people. So if they're saying they're being scammed or tricked or whatever, or he's a con artist, I didn't say that. They're saying that. But one of the things in these Facebook groups, and you can, there's an article about them. You can just put in the word scammed uh, Thomas John on Facebook and you'll find these groups. There's at least two and they're full of women. Um, binders full of women. You guys remember that reference? <laughs> That's dating things. Um, and what's going on is they say, some of these women say, is that they get the reading, they book it on their credit card. And then the appointment isn't for a year or more. So there's a year waiting list. And then when their year is here, they don't get the reading. It's rescheduled and then it's rescheduled or they're ghosted or, you know, they show up for the reading and there's nobody there. Nobody answers their emails. Nobody responds to them when they're like, I I'm supposed to be getting my reading. Some people buy a ticket for an event in a physical place, but they don't tell them where the physical place is. They'll, they'll say it's in Minnesota, but they don't say where. And then they try and try and try to get a hold of the person. Then it's canceled. It's just, it's interesting. It's fascinating. And some women say that the reason why he's booking them a year in advance is because then they can't get their money back from the credit card company or from him because it's been over the amount of time that the credit card company will allow them to, to get the refund. Now, that's an interesting tactic. Personally, what I I would say is I would raise hell with my credit card company. And I would say, I booked this out a year ago and it is not being fulfilled. So I want my money back. Of course, that's not going to hurt Thomas Don because the money you're going to get is from your credit card company. In the long run, it will hurt Thomas Don because the credit card company is going to start flagging any payments made to Thomas Don and then because they'll be wary and then they'll say oh we can't we can't allow that transaction to go through possible you know reasons that and maybe they'll be able to tell the person who's trying to buy the ticket why and that would be really interesting because if you're trying to buy a ticket from thomas john thinking he's this all that going to get this reading from him in a year and your credit card company says i'm sorry we we can't allow that transaction to go through because of problems we've had with his account um even if they don't give you a lot of information, that should be a red flag and maybe turn people off. But if it was me, I would be booking, I would be escalating the calls to my credit card company over and over, higher, 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 higher. Because if you're going to buy, let's say you put a deposit on a custom made door for your house and it's going to take a year to get here because it's this custom-made door you paid for it in advance or you put a deposit on it when the year gets here and you don't got no door and it's being postponed 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 you should be able to get your money back because you never received your door so even if it is a year out it should be something that the credit card company should give you back now that's just my personal opinion i would just keep escalating it being a pain in pain in the butt with the credit card company to get your money back and don't give your money to another one of these mediums. Use that money to go and have, um, buy ice cream for everybody or something, you know, use it for something pleasurable, something that's actual factual, something, you know, buy plants for your garden or, you know, get a kitten. <laughs> Those are the kinds of things you do with your money. You don't, or pay off your bills, you know, get a little bit more paid off. That's just my opinion here. Let's go back to these little guys. Um, I'm sorry to inform you, Thomas is unable to do your phone reading at this time. He's decided to schedule. Um, I think this is a different one. He will continue to do his virtual Zoom calls where he can and and the virtual online events. This has been an extremely stressful year for him. Okay. Hi, I had a phone reading scheduled today, but there's no call. What happened? I hope Thomas is okay. Hi, we've had a bad issue with scheduling. We apologize for any convenience. He is the new diet. We're having a huge issue with our system where appointments are being placed over appointments that we have already had 
somebody ha was to notify you that you've been moved. Sorry for this change. 2022. It's been doing this for years. I don't know why it's a problem now. Hi, I've been promised a refund for a person reading an in-person reading from two years ago. Two years ago. Check has been in the mail for over six weeks. I'm done with their lies and rudeness. What's the best way to report them? I must sound like a broken record after reading posts this year. This is, remember, I'm pulling this from a Facebook group, one of the Facebook groups where there are tons of people who are posting these kinds of things. From another person, please don't waste your money with a scammer. I had a booking, waited over 12 months. He canceled, said he'd refund my money has given every excuse from blaming his staff, sent by PayPal, sent by international money order. There are many people complaining about him. His registered business address is a fake and he uses his sister's address as so many are chasing him for refunds. So here's some of these things. Uh, these are text messages from Thomas John here. Let me check. My admin was supposed to handle this, but she left for another job. It may have gotten lost in a shuffle. Please look, check on this and let me get back. I remember calling you. So this person's pissed. Bullshit. I'm over excuses. You've always got to answer. It's always somebody else to blame. Last time you said you'd refund, reply in three hours, and that was weeks ago. Who the hell do you think you are? You did ring. You said you, you, okay, you did ring. You said you'd set my money back then, claimed to have sent to the wrong PayPal account. That cannot happen. It would have bounced back if it was wrong. I'm fed up with your excuses. And then Thomas John responds, okay, I won't look into it then. Take care. Fine. I have your details. I have your sister's address. I will lodge a complaint. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to give him the phone number. Okay, sounds good, he says. Jeez. Another woman. This man's a scam artist. Do not give him your money. I paid for a Zoom reading. He didn't turn up to any of the three appointments I had with him. He kept postponing and postponing whilst waiting for him to connect the last time. I decided to check him out online too late, obviously, and found out this is what he does all the time. He takes your money, then does not attend. The Zoom meeting is scheduled. He keeps postponing and making excuses. Do not give him your money. Hi, I'm new to this group. I recently joined because I was also scammed by Thomas John, and it's crazy how he does the same thing to hundreds of people and appears to be getting away with it. It took months, but I finally got a refund through filing a claim with my bank. He's disgusting. Once a thief, always a thief it appears. Fascinating. Fascinating, isn't it? Um, this goes on and on. And I was going to show you, let's see, what's going on? What is going on with his time? What is he doing with his time instead of giving readings to these people? Okay, I'm going to gray out this because this is one of the inboxes I have. So a couple years ago, or maybe longer, I opened a new account, did Operation Onion Ring with that um, account, an email account, and you couldn't tell it was a fake account. I don't know why. And I signed up for his newsletter on this account, and we're at 1,600 emails from him in two years. I will gray out some of the areas of this so, so that you can't see my account name. Let's look and see what kind of messages we get from this account. Um, over here is the date, November 9th. Uh, meet Charles Thomas in uh, Carlsbad, California. Here is a secret to a mediumship reading, a reading with Thomas John at a special price, personalized roadmap for 2024. On the Here's two messages from the 8th. Here's three from November 7th, another advertisement for some of the things he's already done. Guaranteed messages from Thomas John. This Saturday, unlocking the secrets to mediumship. There's, here's a message from your fur babies. Um, here is a guide to 2024 delivered your email. November fourth, November third. Your next. Oh, that's that's junk mail. <laughs> unlocking the secrets to mediumship. Yeah, secrets are maybe you should be doing some classes and actually instead of doing classes, you should be giving readings to people, hot reading the people who've already paid you. Holiday package, nine items plus free shipping. This is swag from the Thomas John um, site. Uh, do you want to write your book? November, December events. I only have 10 slots left. Well, when we did when we did Operation Pizza Roll, he only had eight people that were allowed to go for $400 a person. I bought out two of the two of the slots at the last minute. So 
He can't sell out something without having um, the skeptics involved, apparently. Check out Operation uh, Onion Ring. It's here on my YouTube channel, or you can Google it. Here are connect with authentic messages, turn it into a book, receive a message, more psychic pen pal program. I wonder what that is. Today only. Um, so look at this. Look at these dates on here. October 14th, October 12th, one, two, three, four emails from them. October 11th, one, two, three. I mean, this is just, here's a spirit circle in a uh, spiritual circle in Reno. Tomorrow is an evening of messages. Meet Thomas. He's pretty dang busy. Pretty dang busy. Palo Alto, Fresno, San Bernardino, um, Carlsberg, Bad California. Meet Thomas and Carlsbad. Uh, online, Thomas John. And so there's there's all these things you can get. You can buy these tickets. You can go in here and buy these things. Fresno, California. Oh, here's a special offer. Look at this. 15-minute readings. What's it say? $222 special offer. A 15-minute reading next week. Next week. Really? <laughs> Mini call. Once you've purchased, you will be emailed specific times available. This date and time will not charge change with Thomas and cannot be changed by you. It'll take place by phone and will be a phone reading to claim. Remail. Look at that. In the next 14 business days this is not to be combined with any credit or any reading you may have this date and time will not change with thomas and cannot be changed by you 225 dollars dang i i boy if i didn't i wish i could go do this kind of stuff um let's look at uh thomas's other stuff he's been doing here's his youtube channel and if you look at the YouTube channel, now there's a video out on my channel that talks about how Thomas John, I think it was at the beginning of 2023, every month he was going to solve a cold case every month. And then as a schedule freed up, he was going to do it every week. So here's his videos and I'm not blocked or anything. There's not like I'm missing something. The last video he posted was six months ago. So he still hasn't even done. And that's an online reading he did six months ago. I've already reviewed that. So I'm not seeing any cold cases that are being solved every month from January of 2023. So we're in November. So we're, we're due 11 different cold cases. That's 11 cases he could have solved by now. And by now, surely he would have been able to do these every week. Don't call me Shirley. Oh my goodness. All right, let's check out his events. What's going on with his events? You can get some swag. I don't know what kind of swag I'd be getting, but let's see what's over here. Nine items plus free shipping, holiday package. What do you think's inside there? Let's see, what would we get? Is it hand sanitizer? Oh, 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 here it is. Abundant stone. Abundance prayer card, which has been created by Thomas Don. A personalized manifesting card. I've got at least one or two of those from different readings I've gone to in person. Abundance spray. Abundance spray. Really? You spray it and things happen to you in abundance? Well, there's a lot of things I don't want abundance. <laughs> there's a Thomas Thomas's book signed. Never argue with a dead person. Hey, I've got a book. Signed by Thomas John, never argue with a dead person. So does Mark Edward. So does many people who have been on my team who go to his events. He signs them, oddly enough, using the wrong name of the person who's actually there. Nothing, nothing weird at all. Access to a New Year's Day course, a manifest journal, which is, I guess, something picks up at the dollar store. Evening with spirit online and a bonus spiritual gift. Oh my gosh. Okay, only selling a limited amount of them. So that's going on. Okay, here's this package is valued over $250. We're offering it for a low price of only $97 with free shipping. Uh, you get his book signed. Here's your abundance stone. He went and picked it up in the river earlier. No, no, it's a beautiful piece of jade stone that has properties that provide abundance as it brings harmony and balance. 
give me a freaking break. People fall for this. If this if this brought harmony and balance, we would have these all over the world and all the world's problems would be taken care of. No, it doesn't work. It's nonsense. Precious energy, elevating stone. It helps with your heart chakra and to create more balance in your emotions. Oh, I, I can hear you all now saying, Susan, you need one of these. Manifest that is H -A T. I, we know what that means. It's a notebook. It's so important to have a positive mindset in order to reach your goals. There's a gallery reading that's going to be on February 2nd. Oh, Groundhog's Day. Let's see if it gets canceled. Abundance Essential Oil Mist is the perfect way to help raise your abundance vibration. $97. $97. Let's see if we have any events happening. What has he been doing with his time? Why can't that's your events? Oh, here they are. Virtual one on one person readings. Continue reading. Let's see. All right. So here's all your dates that you can go and get your 30 minute reading. You know, so sad for those people who've already booked readings who cannot get their own readings. Look at there's a whole bunch of them in person. He's going to be in Los Angeles pretty darn soon. Modesto, Dallas. Oh, all these places. Um, you know, I think some of these, I have people who are going to be attending. So Thomas, when my people paid for with money from the James Randi Educational Foundation, thank you very much, um, attend your in-person readings, these shows, and maybe some of these personal readings. Let's see if you can pick them out of the audience. I wonder if you're going to be able to do that. Look at all these. There are people all over the world who would love to attend and I'm happy to pay to have you go in person. So just let me know if you're not already on one of these lists. We might have lots of people attending your events, Thomas Don, if you're watching, which maybe you are. Who knows? Do you think Thomas Don watches these? I know he does put out some messages that are kind of cryptic. He said he was coming to my town. That was interesting um he didn't but uh that was that was fascinating this one's a little long i'm gonna sum it up uh she purchased a small person reading from thomas john in buffalo it was supposed to take place in may of 2023 no exact location was given for the event of the at the time when i purchased the tickets we paid 300 dollars a person we are a group of five, so it's $1,500. We reached out three separate times via email in April to confirm the location. They replied they don't disclose the location until two weeks before the event. That's odd. Then he claimed the hotel the event was supposed to take place canceled on him at the last minute, which is two weeks before. That's not the last minute. And then, then he, he was ill. And then her group discovered that his official Facebook page, that he had a different reading in person, posted for a different place in Washington. Then he asked to reschedule the May 30th for a virtual reading. Then 10 minutes before the reading, we were sent an email saying that the reading was canceled due to his Wi-Fi being out at his rental. I've heard that excuse. Usually blames his dog, his stepfather, his... Um, Wi-Fi, his luggage is lost. Oh my gosh, we've heard everything. Uh, we're no longer interested in getting reading. We're being scammed. We want our money refunded, $1,500, multiple calls. His assistant told him they were finally told they would receive a refund via P PayPal. We have not received any refund. Okay, so this is told on June 1st, they're going to get a, a refund versus PayPal. This is July. So this is a month and a week later. We've not received any refund. Thomas John has stopped responding and on and on and on. I'm really upset. They say, this is all not me. This is him. He'd send me my money back and I didn't get anything. I booked a reading in January for May 14th. I sent six emails and left one voicemail attempting to confirm my appointment. I have received zero response. Very frustrated. So sad. I tried to work with him to clear this up, but he wasn't interested. I lost money, but he lost more his reputation. 
His reputation is only as good as people look it up. My gosh, we've had this information about what's going on with Thomas John for years and people aren't looking it up. Well, a lot of people are looking it up, but obviously the people who are buying these readings are not looking it up. Um, here's another one. Thomas gave me a 9 a.m. reading. I assumed it was in Eastern time. The dude had an event the same day he scheduled my reading. He never planned on giving me a reading. So why would he care about the booking, overbooking? Anyway, when I sent him a nasty email at 920 saying, where were you? He said he was running late. The only reason he responded was because I was mean. Never received a reading or my money. I don't want to read him reading from anymore. Now he states all readings are Eastern time. So when I emailed him at 920 Central Standard Time, that would have been 1020 Eastern. So he had no intention of doing a reading for me. Lies, lies, lies. So I don't know. I wouldn't want to be his um, his agent. Here's another one. I know. I know. I'm telling you. This is just a tiny little bit. I went and copied these off and removed names. He takes money promising a service, never provides a service. He contacted me offering a refund, but said, do you want your September reading? I wrote that I never had a September reading scheduled and I never received a refund to this day. He never called for my April reading. He's slow and steals money. That's called fraud. He does this across state lines and this is called activity wire fraud, which is a federal crime. He's shameless, has serious problems. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, no service, no refund. That's fraud. That's a crime. And that person's absolutely right. Thomas, John, if you're watching this, you might want to check out, I think it was the New York Times. I just tagged it this morning. Let's see. Here it is. It was in, shoot, what was it in? Check this out. Look up Google timepiece gentleman. I can't remember if it's Washington Post or New York Times. I cut that part off because I read both every day. So this is this guy who runs a consignment store in Beverly Hills. He used money from the sale of his customers' luxury watches to finance a lavish lifestyle for himself. It's very similar to what's going on here. And it, and he's been, he's got, uh, he's facing 20 years. They've caught the guy. They, he submitted to it. And he's still facing 20 years in federal prison for wire fraud because he's he's taking money across state lines he's he's taking money he's not giving he's not giving them the watches that they paid for other people are giving the guy his watches giving watches saying can you sell this for me and then he's taking the watches and selling them and just giving them to other people who paid for it it's like a giant ponzi scheme so i i think that this is very similar i i said wow this is similar and wire fraud. So I, I Thomas has got a record already. So I don't know if he's concerned about this, but you know, it's just only a matter of these, these mostly women organizing and and uh, getting the federal government to look at it. Hey, federal government, do you want to take a look at this? Oh, I don't know, but you know, it's only women. That's what they say. You know, the police would say, well, you know, they should know better. I'm being facetious, you guys. This is what we're hearing from the police whenever these kinds of things are going on they they make up excuses and they say well everybody should know that this is this isn't real okay i think this is the last one. Oh my god i just started down this rabbit hole last night now i know why in group readings my mom always came through i just figured it was because my mom was very outgoing in her earthly life what a rat now i realize that all the stuff up I put on Facebook and just come back to haunt you. Plus, I think he's one of my personal Facebook friends from a few years ago. She had an endorsement up on him about him on her website. She's going to take it down. I'm an intelligent person, so I don't know how I didn't put two and two together. And I, I'll make sure to put a link to the YouTube channel and this group on my website also. You know, it has nothing to do with the uh, uh, intelligence, you guys. It has everything to do with being um trusting you assume that that the person who is spiritual who is you assume that they have a good reputation um it's it's trusting and a lot of these people are in vulnerable times where they're very lonely or they badly feel like they need to get a message they're in deep grief i think i have a couple 
couple more. Let me see. Thomas rescheduled multiple times and canceled my session. This is a response I had when I emailed him about my refund. I told him I'd blast him on social media, that he was a scam, and that when he crosses over, there will be a lot of pissed off ghosts of family members waiting for him. He had my correct address, but of course, there was never a check. And his response was, there's absolutely no reason to speak to someone this way. I understand being frustrated, but again, you do not need to speak this way to anyone. The only reason I'm canceling sessions is because I have a sick. He has a sick. I looked into this and you were mailed a check. I looked it up in the bank website and I see it was never cashed. I never got it back in the mail, but it was sent. And this person is saying, no, it was not sent. Uh, promised a refund of $800 about four months ago. Still nothing. I need to send about 4,000 emails to get one reply. Always excuses. That person's probably exaggerating a bit. Now they asked me for my PayPal, which I gave. Still no refund. Um, I am pregnant and this is causing me so much stress. I'm tired. I'm done with his excuses. Am I done? Oh, I'm done. This is just a small snippet that I probably clipped in like 10 minutes. There are hundreds and hundreds of these on these uh, Facebook groups. Go check them out if you're curious. Um, you know, maybe I'll do this again in the future. I'm just putting these out there so people will be able to find these videos and say, oh, maybe I shouldn't get a reading. Maybe I shouldn't give him money because it doesn't look like he's had really good customer service and he hasn't really been doing his um, you know, the readings that he's promised, even though I get an email from him constantly saying he's got another reading available for me. I don't know. You guys, you know, if you want to give money to this person and others like him, you're an adult. It's your money. Go ahead. Maybe, maybe some people enjoy this kind of stress. Maybe they enjoy throwing their money away like this, but I don't know. Warn other people. Please like, please share, please leave me comments. Oh my gosh, you guys. Take care and look out for your friends and family because they need to look out for you as well.